Oh, they got mama hair on you? Well, that's mom life. You know, hair everywhere, barf everywhere, poop everywhere. Hi everyone, my name is Erin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's my very first YouTube video, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited to talk to you today. I really wanted to start out with reviewing a great baby product. I'm not being paid in any way to say this. They didn't send it to me. I'm not an established YouTuber, so it's not. I just wanted to let you know how I feel about it. A lot of the new moms that I've been talking about have never heard of it, so I really wanted to get this out there. I know there are some other reviews on it, but hopefully I can give you a different take and maybe you can decide whether or not you want to purchase it or whether or not you think it's a good product. So I really want to talk about the Owlet Baby Monitor. This I think is one of the best purchases you can make as a new mother. Even if you're having your fifth child and you haven't had this before, I think it would make things a lot easier for you. So one of the things we worry about as moms is while we're sleeping and our babies are sleeping, are they okay? Are they breathing? Is our heart beating all right? Are things going well while they're sleeping? I remember speaking to my mom and she'd sort of wake up every once in a while in a panic the baby wasn't breathing and you know, stick her finger underneath our noses. So this was a major panic for me. I knew that once I had my child, I would worry about this. And he's crying upstairs. This is real life. I knew that when I had my baby, I would be worried about this as well. I knew when I was babysitting, when I was younger, I would always check to make sure the baby was breathing, put my hand on their chest, put my uh, finger under their nose, just make sure that everything was okay. And I know there have been some unfortunate things happening with SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. So this is a really great product to help with that. I had heard about it through Facebook, actually. I had seen an ad on Facebook. I think it was still in the development stage where they were still testing and seeing if the product worked and things like that. And I was really anxious uh, to get my hands on it. I was really excited about it because I knew we were trying to have a child. So I thought this would be a really great thing to buy. So all throughout my pregnancy, I knew I wanted it. I registered for it. I didn't receive it for any of my baby showers, which is fine. It's an expensive product. It's maybe something that a bunch of family members could go in on and buy for you. But I think it's well worth your money. So to start out, the outlet monitor is basically a sock that goes on your child's foot and it monitors their oxygen and heartbeat levels. This is awesome. As they say in their videos and on their website, they want you to rest assured. So you hook up the baby monitor, you put it on their foot, it goes through an app and Bluetooth so you can monitor your child on your phone, but also there's a base station that will glow green if the child is doing well. It will glow blue if the monitor is detached from your wireless internet. It will glow yellow if the sock is not correctly on the baby's foot or they've kicked it off, which is a good thing to know too. And then it will glow red and have a high-pitched beep if there's something wrong with your child, if their heart rate or their oxygen level has gone down below those, those um, normal levels. One thing that my pediatrician did say when we talked about having the outlet, don't get hung up on where your child's numbers are based on heart rate and oxygen levels from day to day. It's okay if their heart rate was at 112 one day and down to 98 another day. Now you wanna to talk to your pediatrician about this. Make sure they know that you're using the outlet monitor and get all the advice you can on it. I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you what to purchase for your child, but I will say that having this for five months my son has worn it every night, except for one night, the first night we were home. And that was, of course, uh, it's always a, a sleepless night when you first bring your baby home. But every other night since then, he's worn it. And we have slept better and everything has gone really well. Now, one of the really cool features of this is you download their app 
and it will take you step by step through the setup process. So it was really simple to get it set up. One of the things we had a hard time with was wireless connection, but that has to do with our internet and it's always been touch and go with internet. <laughs> and you probably know how that goes. Ours usually alerts us if the monitor is disconnected from the Wi-Fi, even if we're charging it. That's one thing that I have told Alet in a survey that there might be an issue with. Even when we're charging the sock, it's giving me, it's sending me a lot of alerts telling me that the monitor is offline. And I have told them in a survey and it, maybe they've fixed it. I know they have a, a new version out in beta, for beta testing now. I'd say test the beta version. It's supposed to be a little stronger with the Bluetooth connection so the baby can get a little further away from the base station. The other concern that I have is the base station being in the room with the baby once our baby moves into his own room. Right now he sleeps in a rocker next to our bed which is great because then we have the monitor on my husband's nightstand on the other side of the bed. If it does go off, say the sock is disconnected or it disconnects from the Wi-Fi, it ha has the tendency to wake the baby up. So I have a concern with having the monitor in the room with the baby. So the new beta version, which allows for longer Bluetooth distance may allow you to keep the base station in your room and have the baby sleep soundly in their room, depending on how far away their room is from yours, of course. Ours is only maybe 15 feet or so. Those are some concerns that I have, but overall, it's a great product. I think it's a must buy for any mom. So I'd say check it out. Do some research, talk to your pediatrician, talk to your OBGYN, see if this is a good fit for you and your baby. I think it's a must have for any new mom. This is what the box looks like. Well, this is what it looks So we bought ours in late 2016 and this is what the box looked like. Uh, it opens up just like this and you'll have your, your, your outlet monitor right in there. So you open up the box and everything is there that you need. You're going to get two infant socks, one for each foot. They suggest that you move it each night because there can be a little pressure sore that happens just it's very small and it goes away so it's kind of like a mesh mark kind of leaves a little indent in their foot but it goes away very quickly um, so that's why they suggest that you change them every night you're going to get a, a medium sized sock which our son moved into at about three months and then you're going to get a larger sock which our son isn't into yet and he's almost five months so you get three different sizes four socks and it's a, I think it's a great thing to have. The other great thing about these socks is that they're washable. We've gotten poop, barf, pee all over these socks and they wash up great. We put them in the wash with the rest of the baby stuff, with the draft, uh, and then we dry them in the dryer and they come out great. The monitor, which is small, it's got a round end on one side and then it has a long arm that fits into the sock. You'll want to take it, put it inside the, the hole in the sock that obviously fits the top of the monitor, and then push it through to the other side. The monitor is going to want to go just a little bit further down from the baby's pinky toe so that it can monitor that heart and oxygen level. You'll see all of this outlined in the app. Like I said, they have a fantastic app that's going to take you through step by step on how to handle set up and care for your outlet. I have to say the app is one of the best features. I want to know what you think about the outlet. I want to know if you have it. I want to know if you're interested in it. L ask any questions you'd like on how we use it and how well we like it. So this is the medium sized sock that our son uses now. It is a little bit, a little bit, um, Yucky, it does need to be washed again. <laughs> you see this red light that's flashing in here? That's the actual monitor. And every we take this off of him every morning, and then you can, on the base station, you'll see there's a charging cord. So every morning when we take it off, we plug in the charging cord. If you can get it the right way. We plug in the charging cord and it usually charges all day. Now it doesn't take all day to charge. I've noticed that it usually takes about an hour or two. Um, so if you've forgotten to put it on its base throughout the day, that's okay, stick it on to charge. But it'll show you on the app how charged it is. So make sure you can see on your app the charge level, it'll give you a percentage. So this is the base station. 
It'll glow green, like I said, when everything's fine. Blue when you're disconnected from when it's disconnected from the Wi-Fi, and yellow when the sock is disconnected. It'll also play a lullaby, which you'll get to know very well. <laughs> um, the hush, little baby, don't say where. it won't sing it, but it'll go anyway. You get it. Um, but it will do that. There's also two l indicator lights on the back. There's a Wi-Fi and a sock indicator. It'll tell you if the Wi-Fi or the sock is connected. And it'll just be little green lights that you'll see. To turn the monitor off, you just click on the top. To turn it on, you click on the top. It's very easy to use. User-friendly, awesome. So cute, this little owl. It'll also have you create a little profile for your child. It'll ask for the child's birth date and for maybe an avatar picture. No one's going to see this but you. Plugs into a regular wall socket, USB charger, so easy. If you have any trouble with the outlet, you can give them a call. Their customer service department, as far as I've dealt with them, has been really great. So. It's a good way to go. They do sell these in some boutique stores. Uh, we have seen them in one store in Logan, Utah, which is where we're located, but they were out when we went to buy one, so we actually bought one from a baby boutique store down in Salt Lake. You can buy it directly from their website. Also, they do financing. It is $250, and that might be a little bit more than you wanna spend on something like this. I think it's well worth it, but if it's a little too much, you can do financing through their website. I think that it's well worth the purchase. So that's it, that's my review on the Owlet. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube, so any questions, any information, any advice you wanna give me, be sure and do so. I am really happy to be here and I'm excited to review some products for you, but also share a little bit of life and fun. Let me know if you go ahead and purchase this and if you like it. I really want to hear from you. So we'll see you in my next review video. I don't know how often I'm going to post yet since I'm so new to YouTube and I'm getting this posting videos down. So we might just right now go for once a week, but I hope you check back. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks and have a great day. New mom thing, losing hair. I, oh. <laughs> Don't knock me. Oh, this is cute. <laughs>